Jimmy Arante has played the lead in Dracula. He's playing the lead now. Is he your go-to guy for sexy leads? Well, Jimmy actually created this part for Ballet Met when he was much younger. Oh, I shouldn't say that. But when Jimmy was a young dancer in the company, he was the first Belmont for Ballet Met. And so it's really interesting to see the growth in his interpretation of the role since then. You know, he was wonderful at the time, but he adds a certain appropriate maturity to this because Valmont is an older character than some of the others in the piece and it really is wonderful to see the artistry that he brings to this role. It's fabulous and really intense. Do you believe what's going on there? I believe it in the tech. I can't believe what's going to be happening this weekend. We haven't seen it in a few years. Why are you bringing it back now? I think it's a very important part of our history. Um, David Nixon was the artistic director of Ballet Met for so many years. This is one of the first pieces he choreographed on the company. It's a wonderful piece to show the talents of individual dancers, and it's more than worth its time to come back now. What has changed between the last time we have seen this and this performance? Well, David has choreographed this ballet for his own company in England, and because of the size of the stage there, some things change. And then because as a choreographer, you always want to just try and make things just a little bit better and you know, explain a story a little bit more. So he's made those kind of changes, but the most notable change is that the actress who was in the original that we did here in Columbus is now no longer part of the ballet. So the actress's role is not there, but more of the story is told in the dancing. David seems to demand a lot of athleticism in his work. Not all ballet companies can handle that. Is it a chicken and the egg factor? Did he create the athleticism in Ballet Met or is it just a good match, an organic match? I think David is always pushing the boundaries and certainly it's probably more physical this time around than the first time that we did it. But also he's not only into the physicality of it, but he's really into the, the, the interpretation and the mental approach to it. So physically, you know, when you get angry or something, your body's naturally more involved. And so he magnifies those emotions that we have into the physicality of it. And I think that's what really makes his works work so well as far as telling a story and you seeing all that emotion through the dancers. What else is coming up in the next few weeks for Ballet Met that we should be on the lookout for? Well, believe it or not, in three weeks from opening this ballet, we are going to open Nutcracker in Syracuse with brand new sets and costumes for Act One. So it's um, quite a jam-packed time at Ballet Met. And then after that, we've got a new work by David Parsons. We've got The Seven Deadly Sins, which ends the season, and the Cinderella as well in there. So quite a busy year. Good luck with your year and good luck with this weekend. Thanks very much, Cindy.